members to talk about that and this year's induction class. A member himself, Mickey Folger. How you doing, Mick? I'm just fine, Gary. How are you this morning? <laughs> doing quite well. Doing quite well. So uh, before we get started with this year's induction, have you guys done anything more with uh, with your reclamation project from your bag? And, and you're referring to? I'm referring to. You know what I'm referring to. Well, I, I know wheels. We got together yes. for a little thing last uh, last summer. We did a recording session in a uh -huh. warehouse. Since we couldn't play out live, we did a little thirty minute concert for my charity, my nonprofit. I help out uh, mentoring plus. We did a set. So we got, yeah, we got back together after uh, what's it been forty years? Yes, and and yeah. the the sound was amazing. You guys were right there, man. Well, we, I guess we have good memories. <laughs> yeah. Knock on wood. Anyway, M Mickey, was, as uh, mentioned, was with Wheels and, and several other bands. So uh, who are you playing with these days? Well, I'm with a group of a couple of guys. They identify them as a duo, Gary uh, Devoto and Dave Webster. They were a duo when I opened the pub back in the 70s, and we, we utilized them as our entertainment. They've been together ever since the 70s. And they recorded a CD in the 90s. And uh, anyway, I ended up saying to them, hey, let's put some musicians behind you, you know, put a band together and promote this CD. They got 15 or 16 original songs. Anyway, I played off and on with them for years. Uh, we opened up a little river band in Fort Thomas Great. one summer. Anyway, uh, we now play about, well, we were playing once a month until the uh, pandemic hit. Of course, then we hadn't played, and we just played last weekend for the first time in 15 months. Congratulations. So, yeah, so if you say, I'm, who am I playing with now, I guess that's it. All right, Northern, Ke Northern, Ke ahead. Northern Kentucky Legends Music Hall of Fame inductions coming up this Thursday at Tower Park in Fort Tarm Thomas. Uh, I, I played the casinos at the outset, and a member of that band, Mickey Denton, is one of this year's inductees. Tell me about Mick, just real yes, quick. Yes, indeed. Well, Mickey, of course, he's got the same first name, so I've loved him ever since I met him. <laughs> and, of course, I've met him in 67. The band I was in back then, The New Lime, we had a single out in 67 that did quite well. We signed Columbia Records. We thought we were the hottest thing in town. And then all of a sudden, as we're listening to the radio, the casino song came on. Ours climbed up pretty good to the top five. Theirs skyrocketed not only to the top number one in Cincinnati, but I think it was number one pretty much across the world. But then you could tell me by goodbye was just a huge hit. And their guitarist is a guy named Mickey Denton. And so I was happy to meet him back then. I've known him for years. And uh, he kept playing. He had his own band, the Michael Denton Group, in the 80s. And he had a band called Carefree Day in the late 70s, and they were a wonderful band. There were so many good bands in Cincinnati in the late 70s. That's when Wheels was happening and Carefree Day. There's another band called Coyote, and the lead singer was Jill Smith, who became Jill Denton, Mickey's wife. But the real point of the Mickey Denton story is he passed away from cancer in February. So he would have been inducted in 2020, right. except he didn't live long enough, damn it. Right. Uh, it's, it's a sad thing, but, uh, you know, life and death goes on. Yes, it does. Uh, name me a couple of more of the inductees, the people who will be honored this coming Thursday night. Okay, well, there's a married couple, Melissa and Chuck Reed. They met Chuck Reed, played at her her, her, her best friend's wedding, and they met at this wedding. Cause she sat in and sang. She's got a marvelous voice. So the two of them married in the 90s, and in 2008 put a band together called DV8. And that band, Deviate, will perform Thursday at the induction ceremony, and she will be inducted. And again, her husband will be inducted, but he again passed away, again from cancer back in 2017. So we've got two cancer victims being inducted, wonderful musicians. Anyway, he played bass guitar, and uh, he was a sound guy. He had a sound company, and he did concerts for Eddie Money and Loverboy and, and things like that. He was, you know, he did, when bands toured, he was in the Midwest available to do the sound system. All right, tell so me, anyway. that, that's uh, Melissa and Chuck Reed of DV8 going in, yeah. and, yes. and also a man named Ray Cummins. Ray Cummins is a guitar picker. He picked up the guitar with a uh, Chet Atkins album when he was sick back in high school. 
and he kind of absorbed it, became a great Chet Atkins-style picker. In fact, he plays every year in the Chet Atkins Appreciation Society when they get together. Anyway, he'll be inducted. Out of high school, he ended up being the opening act for um, oh, Kenny Price. He's from out in Boone County. And so Kenny Price took him on the road. He's an accomplished guitar picker, so Ray Cummins will be inducted. And then the other band uh, being inducted, the band being inducted this year from the 1970s, I think they got together in 75, is a band called Swan. Mm -hmm. And they were rather accomplished. They've had several singles on WEBN album projects. Am I allowed to mention another station? Sorry. No, that's all right. I think you're in the same family. Yeah, we are. Okay. (laughs) Anyway, Swan is being inducted. Yes. All right. Uh, look forward to what time's the uh, ceremony, Mick? Six o'clock, the induction ceremony. It'll start with the vocals of the Brotherhood singers who were inducted in 2017. They're an a cappella gospel group. They, they'll be singing America the Beautiful and songs like that. But anyway, they will open the show at six, at six o'clock. We'll do the induction ceremony and present the awards. And then Around 7, the more live music will go. It'll go till 10 o'clock, 6 to 10, Thursday in Tower Park. All right, Mickey Folger, thank you very much. Uh, we'll try and make it if we can, working at the bar till 7. So uh, if, if I can get anywhere near the place, and by the way, I would advise you, and hopefully the weather is going to be nice for you, uh, I would advise you to get there as early as possible to find a place to park. <laughs> it's always yeah, a good well, idea. I will be there several hours early. So. All right, Mickey. I should be. You should be <laughs> Thank fine. You. Thank you. That's the induction of Northern Kentucky Music Legends Hall of Fame happening this coming Thursday.